What's going on guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at Sea Lab number 28. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. This is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And today we're going to be taking a look at a product from Sea Lab number 28. Alright guys, so we got a box from Premium Aquatics. And let's take a look at what is in the box. So we got some Sea Lab number 28 now this is a very old school product that has been around for a very very long time now anytime that you're working with an old school product that's been around for a long time there's a reason why it's been around for a long time anything else yep here we go all right so there we go put that aside so we got a couple different things here it all looks like it is the Sea Lab 28. So we got a couple different applications for this product. And some good tape. Lovingly wrapped in bubble wrap. So that's big old block of Sea Lab 28 right there. So what C-Lab is going to do for you is it's going to act as a buffer for uh, calcium, strontium, and about 15 trace elements. Now there is some pretty interesting things about this. What it basically does is you put it into a high flow section of your tank and as elements become out of balance it starts to dissolve and as it balances things back out it then closes up so you got a couple different size options yeah that's pretty cool all right so it's fully buffered um, and there's no way that this product is going to overdose your trace elements in your reef tank it only dissolves as it's needed basically trying to balance out your levels with that the interesting thing when I was doing a little bit of research on this, even though they do have some guidelines here, basically uh, it's one block for 50 gallons. And even though that has that recommendation, there's no overdosing of trace elements in your reef tank. And essentially what it's trying to do is put it to natural seawater levels. Uh, so even though that it says one block per 50 gallons, let's say you put two blocks in there, it's not going to consume the block um, because it's only going to balance out the levels and then stop dissolving. It's not something like a dissolve tab that you throw in there and it just dissolves out over a certain period of time. It only is dissolved as it's needed. So some of the things here that it says what this is going to do for you. This is the kilo block. Uh, it's pretty pretty large size. So this is going to be for your uh, very large sized aquariums. Uh, it says that it prevents toxic ammonia builds up, uh, stabilizes acid alkalinity balance pH, controls essential trace element concentrations, maintains constant calcium supply for hard corals, limits phosphates to less than one parts per million. That's pretty interesting. And controls toxic impurities. So this product is old school, but it's going to do a lot for you. And basically, you know, whatever size aquarium that you have, whether it be a Nano or a Pico Reef Tank, or you have a mid-size aquarium or an absolute monster, Sea Lab number 28 has you covered. And all these products are available at Premium Aquatics. So if you want to do a little bit more research, pick some up for yourself. There's going to be links in the description below. they will bring you to Premium Aquatics where you can do just that. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. That's it for today. I'll see you next time right here with a brand new product.